Hi everyone. So I'm here to admit that I have a problem. I'm addicted to mystery minis. Um, we have a GameStop around the corner from us that I've never gone to and I was out with some friends today and I picked up two of the series for Walking Dead. I saw that they have the series 2 science fiction mystery minis so I picked one of those up and game over Harry Potter fans they have mystery minis too so I picked up one of the Harry Potter and one of the sci-fi with two of the Walking Deads most likely gonna get duplicates but I also got this adorable Mega Man plushie! Look at him! He's so cute! They have like thread for the little bars of the Mega Buster and like his little ear doodads and he has like a gigantic fist that he could punch you in the face with or I don't know, bro fist if you're into PewDiePie. But I thought that was just way too cute to not walk out the door with. So he's adorable. He even has like the adorable anime eyes, which I don't normally dig, but because it's Mega Man, I'm okay with. Okay, so I already went to the liberty of removing the outer layer of plastic wrap for these. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like every other. So I'm going to do a Harry Potter and then a Walking Dead and then a science fiction and then a Walking Dead. So here we go. And I'm just going to show you the back of the box one more time to see who I may potentially be getting. It feels a little bit light, so I'm thinking I might end up with a pet. And if that's the case, I hope I get Crookshanks or Fox or Hedwig or Dobby. Who am I kidding? I'd be happy with any of these. All right. Here we go. It's definitely a teeny tiny one. Let's see here. I got Funk Shanks! Yay! He's so cute! I was actually pretty good with like my friend Casey also got some mystery minis and she got some of the Nightmare Before Christmas ones. And the first one she opened was Sally and then she was about to open the second one. She's like, it's a little bit heavy. And I looked at the side of the box and I was like, maybe you'll get Santa. And she opens the box and she got Santa. So I really hope one of these is a Beth if I am jiving with the mystery minis today. But I guess I'll have to open up and find out. Here's one of them. I just want unique ones. Like, I'd be happy if I got Noah because I don't have him yet. I'd be happy if I got Rick because I don't have him yet. So, here we go. Whoop! Fell on the floor. <laughs> Alright, we got like a mud walker. It's unique, so I don't mind. I'd rather have like the main characters than walkers, but I'd also rather have unique figures than duplicates, so can't complain here. Yeah. Alright, time for some science fiction. 
all of these actually look pretty cool. Like, I'm happy that you could get Bender, you could get um, Lilu Dallas from The Fifth Element, you could get the the guy that Al Alan Rickman plays in Galaxy Quest, you could get Godzilla, you could get Voltron, Dr. Emmett Brown, Morpheus from The Matrix. So here we go. Well, I'm pretty sure I do not have Lilu Dallas, but it's not a big one, so I don't think I have Godzilla. And we got Dude with a Shovel. And of course it would be one of the ones that I have no idea who or what this is from. Actually, it looks like someone from Star Trek. If you look really close, you can see the emblem on the shirt. So, I don't know who the character is, but... Alright. We've got the last Walking Dead one for today. Here's the moment of truth. Feeling like I have a weapon on one of them, so I get the sinking feeling that I have another duplicate coming. Oh! I didn't have Daryl from this series yet, but I got Daryl, so I got unique figures, and I will never complain about having a Daryl. Now I have a Series 4 and a Series 3. So I'm pretty satisfied with that, because I did not have him from this series. I'm kind of digging the hair. Alright, so got a pretty good mixture of things. I got two more unique mystery minis that I did not have, so yay me for the Walking Dead mystery minis. And I got Crookshanks from Harry Potter. And I'm going to have to like refer to a list of who is in. Oh, how about that? They have a little list on the side. Let's see here. Alien aliens, Futurama alien. Blah, blah, blah. Battlestar Galactica, Fifth Element, Galaxy Quest, Star Trek. Um, Star Trek, Studios, it, is. it doesn't say who it is. That's kind of disappointing. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little research. I'll put down in the description below who this dude is. Alright. Well, I thank you all for watching. I also saw in their pop collection, I went poking around and they already have She-Hulk there. And I pre-ordered her, so I don't know when she's going to be getting here, but my guess is probably Tuesday or Wednesday because the 4th is a holiday, so I don't think that there's going to be any mail or packages coming that day. So, I'm actually pretty happy. I didn't get a Beth, but I'm not disappointed because I got Daryl and I got another unique Walker figure that I did not have. So.
can't really complain too much. I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna have to start getting more into the Harry Potter ones now, cause... Hufflepuff over there. So, I am a fan of the series. And I would... I'd love to get a McGonagall, but she is way rare. She's a 1 out of 72. Um, Dumbledore's a 1 out of 36. Looks like I could end up with a lot of Hermione's because she is a 1 out of 6. And all the other ones are either 1 out of 12 or 1 out of 24. So, looks like I'm going to have a lot of Hermione Grangers. If I keep going with this series. But I know there are a lot of people who like Hermione, so that's... Not a big deal, because I'm sure that if I end up with a lot, they will find a home with someone else who would like to have her. Alright, so that has been unboxing some more mystery minis, and my Mega Man plushie that I got at GameStop. He's super cute, and yeah, now I'm just kind of going off into the abyss with no clear direction. So I'm going to say good night. Good day. Evening. Morning. Whenever you're watching. Salutations.